Almost five years after India officially announced its first ever human space flight program, Gaganyaan, today we have the names of the four astronaut designates who are going to be part of this historic mission. So far, cosmonaut Rakesh Sharma is the only Indian who has travelled into space and he also flew aboard Russia's Soyuz aircraft back in 1984. But in 2018, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced from the Red Fort that now Indian Space Research Organisation will select three astronauts who are going to fly aboard India's heaviest launcher LVM Mark III and uh, travel to space and the challenge will be to bring them safely back to Earth. The entire mission has been planned with an overall cost of about rupees 9,000 crores. The plan is that the three astronauts will fly aboard LVM Mark III and uh, they'll reach the low Earth orbit which is an altitude of about 400 kilometers. They're going to remain into space for about one to three days and then the challenge will be to bring them safely back to Earth. So far, the last challenge is one that ISRO is going to attempt for the very first time. Recently, we saw that uh, the space agency has been performing a series of te uh, tests. In fact, uh, last year in October, Gaganyaan made news when the Indian Space Research Organization carried out the first ever test vehicle flight of Gaganyaan. So ISRO chairman uh, Mr. Somnath has explained that the space agency has carry, is going to carry out series of uh, tests and demonstrations to ensure that the entire plan of Gaganyaan is foolproof and the safety of the astronauts can be assured. So the test vehicle flight that was conducted last October, uh, wherein the rocket was taken to, uh, you know, a single stage rocket was taken to an altitude of about 17 kilometers from where the abort sequence was initiated. So that entire test was conducted to ensure that the crew escape system works as expected. And remember that the crew module was then recovered from the Bay of Bengal where it splashed down after the abort sequence. So now what happens? This year, uh, ISRO is going to conduct the second test vehicle flight, which is TVD2. So there will be four test vehicle flights, TVD1, which was conducted last October, TVD2, which is going to happen very soon, and then TVD3 and TVD4. Apart from that, ISRO is also uh, going to conduct two unmanned flights, which means they will use two robotic payloads as part of the mission. And there is a term that you must have heard about uh, that is being used for these robotic payloads, which is Yomomitra. So Gaganyaan is that ambitious space uh, mission that uh, ISRO is now working on. Uh, so far, only three countries in the world have successfully carried out that feat. Uh, the Soviet Union, now Russia, uh, the United States of America and China. And if we, India succeeds in this mission, it's going to become only the fourth country in the world to do so. And this is a very crucial time, especially when a lot of uh, space missions are being planned. We recently saw the first ever private landing of uh, a spacecraft from the US on Moon. And uh, a lot of private startups are also mushrooming in India. So this is an exciting time for all the Indians to watch out for what ISRO has planned in the next two years. The mission is set for launch in early 2025.